Last time I checked, there were more than 10,000 videos on CSI and television tips. Then the question is, why am I making one more? Well, the reason is none of them are telling you or giving the right tricks, techniques and expertise which you need in the last 20 days of exam. Yes, time is crucial, so I'll not take much of your time. It's going to be a short video, but I'm going to give you five quick tricks which will help you get started and accelerate your revision practice. Now, the first one, which I call it is active recall. Now I've done a separate video on active recall, which is in detail. So if you have time, you can please check that. But active recall is all about consciously recalling. So you just close the book, close everything, think of a topic and consciously try to recall whatever you could and write it down or just put, keep in your mind. So what happens is active recall strategy helps you Recall the concepts on the go, like you are just moving around, you know, probably cooking, taking bath or uh, brushing and you just recall, right? So that's active recall method. The second one is a highly recommended method, which I always give it to my students and that's called as keyword glancing method. So uh, one of the best ways of doing that is if you have a Biotechnica concept cloud, you can just look at the keyword and now try to reverse engineer, think, okay, what exactly I have studied for this particular keyword. What exactly? For example, you see Krebs cycle. Where does it happen? What does it do? Uh, who founded it? Uh, who discovered it? Who, 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 what, what are the uh, catalysts? What are the enzymes? Everything, right? So that's keyword glancing. You look at the keyword and then try to recall whether you remember or not. Now, the third and most uh, crucial one is drawing flowchart. So many, of, many times you will be like, why do I need to draw a flowchart? I've already studied. But see, Biology is all about cycles, right? You have cycles. I mean, chemistry, you have uh, structures. So the more you draw, the better you get at it. Okay. So uh, suppose you are trying to visualize um, TCA cycle. So you draw it. So when you're drawing it, you will realize, okay, there, these are the flaws, these are the places where I'm forgetting and you can go back and revise. So thinking without writing is not thinking. Revising without writing is not revising. But when you revise while you're drawing that, then is the real revision happens and it will not take much time. It will just take two, two minutes of yours, just a rough sketch of what is DCA, what is Krebs, what is this, what is that? And then you draw it, it becomes much more clearer in your mind. This is the way you transfer your memory from a temporary memory to a uh, permanent memory. This is the way you transfer your concepts. Now the next one is skip and skim. So you open the book, say uh, I opened this book. So um, I'll now look at it, all right? So I'll just look at the headline, chemical equilibria. And then now I'll try to recall what is chemical equilibria. I then open and then it says separation and purification of peptide fragments. So I'll try to recall, okay, what it is. Then I will try, uh, I'll open again and I, it says muto rotation. So muta rotation, what did I study about muta rotation? So you just skip and skim. So you're not going through the entire thing. You're just going through some keywords and trying to recall. So now this acts as a a concept cloud for you uh, because every book has headings and headlines you can use that so you skip majority of the paragraphs skim and read only those which is in bold and try to recall the rest of it so that's skip and skim the last one is solving mentally so when you whenever you have a numerical question whether, whether it is part c or part a or part b so numerical questions if you start writing like if i give you a question the ratio of uh, the ages of uh, Ravi and Sham is 3 to 4. After 7 years, it becomes 4 to 5. So what's his actual age? So now 3 to 4, 4 to 5. So you can do everything mentally. So when you solve mentally, your mental capacity grows, right? When your mental capacity grows, that's how you can deliver better results. Because there, your mind works faster than the pen, right? That's the key word you have to remember. Your mind should work faster than the pen. Then only you can beat 99% of the competition because 99% is going to use the pen, right? Skip, skim, active recall, keyword glance, draw flowcharts and solve mentally. These are the five crucial quick steps and which will help you. Now, last point, if you want to revise, we have a super Raftar batch class recordings available in Biotechnica, which will help you uh, propel your preparation fast. So if you are uh, finding it difficult, you can always enroll with us and take uh, the advantage of the scholarships which we have so that you can get started. Also the AIMNETs we are starting now, um, AIMNET test series, which will be for CSI net. So you can avail that. The link is given in the description. That will help you revise fast and solve a lot of mock test papers, which will be at par with the CSI net. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you soon in the next one. Till then, take care. Keep rocking. Bye.